Hello everyone. Today we're going to install the Postgres database on an Ubuntu machine. Now, if you're here, I'm assuming you already know what a database is and you know what Postgres is. So we're going to cut right to the commands. So with that being said, let's open up our terminal. And then we'll first update our packages. So sudo apt update dash yes, hit enter, and the password. And then that'll update the existing packages. Now, with the updates out of the way, we want to go ahead and install Postgres, which is easy to do. sudo apt install, and then we need to type in the correct packages postgresql, postgresql, and trip. And it's that easy. Now, when we install Postgres or PSQL, it also adds the Postgres user. So what we now want to do is sudo switch the to, switch to that user Postgres. So it's sudo dash i space dash u space Postgres. And you'll notice now I'm logged in as the Postgres user, and I can now issue the PSQL command, which will log me into the Postgres database. We can list the existing database databases. Okay, so now that you know we've successfully installed Postgres, now what we want to do two things. One, we first want to create our then create a database with the same name as our login. So that allows us to not it allows us to log in automatically. Right? So we'll, we'll go ahead I'll show you what I mean by that. So PSQL, right? So Leo Smiggle does not exist. So let's switch back to the Postgres user with PSQL again, create database. Yes. Got the semicolon. Okay, so now that creates the database, right? Now what we want to do is we want to um, quit out, right? Exit again, PSQL. It still says Leos Mule does not exist. So that's one concept I want you to understand is that, you know, there's both a database and a database user. So create user with encrypted password, and we'll just say database, right, nothing real. Okay, grant all privileges, P-R-I-V-I-L-E-G-E-S on Leosmiggle to Leosmiggle. Print all privileges on right. oh, oh, on database Leo Smiggle to Leo Smiggle. Okay, now quit exit PSQL. See, now I've logged in automatically. Okay, so now we see that I have a database and a user, even though I didn't have to type in my database password, although whenever I'm connecting if I connect as my user, I would, need, I would need that password. But regardless, I'm able to log in again automatically. Now, what we want to do is create a database. Let's say we'll call it alpha. That won't give me, that'll give me an error because I've only granted permissions to my that specific database. So you can create. Um, you know, your user is a super user if you want. I'm not going to do that. I like to grant specific permissions. So let's just um, go ahead and switch back to the Postgres user, PSQL. Say we want to create a database fittingly named Alpha. Right now we can list it. And now we have Alpha as our database. So this would be the database that we're going to install all of our price data or what, you know, for, for specifically for this channel, um, all of our price data on or in and our fundamental and technical, etc. But right, Leo Spiegel does not have access to this database at the moment. Only Postgres does because we created it. So now we need to do grant all privileges on database alpha to 
Okay, now we can quit, we can exit, and we can do PFQL, connect, well, list, right, connect, alpha, now DT, there are no tables, but we now have full access to alpha. So that's it. It's pretty simple to install Postgres. Um, it gets a little bit more challenging if you want to use a Docker container because, you know, you typically want to have your volume um, on a separate drive once you start getting larger volumes. But for our purposes and the purposes of this channel, a uh, PSQL instance, you know, on a bare metal, we'll call it a bare metal um, system is perfectly fine and we don't run into any memory issues or anything like that too. So if you like this video and it helped you out, please give it a like and, uh, you know, good luck on your Postgres journey. Thanks.